Shalom, Yasha Allah, giving all honor, praises, and glory unto Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Rakai, Kudash, Barakatha Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Barakatha Yasha Allah, Barakatha Yahweh. I'm going to give double honors to the Apostle and the Great Millstone, who teach him well, who are overseeing the construction of the tabernacle of David. More perfect tabernacle. Shalom to the Akian, while Akwaf scattered about to the same members of the whole for elect. Who have been quickening these last days, stand upon their feet and bear witness to the words of truth. <clears throat> um, this is Ecclesiastes 12 and 1. It says, Remember now, thy creator, Yahweh Bashima Ashai, in the days of thy youth, while the evil days come, not men. So, you Israelites, man, you are supposed to be seeking the Lord, man, 10 times harder, man. You're supposed to be. Repenting, converting. You're supposed to be hearkening unto the voice of your high by Shemal Shai, keeping the law, statutes, commands to the best of your abilities. Why? Because we're coming into some some time where you're gonna need divine intervention, protection from a power uh, uh, on high, man. You think you think in these last days, man, your um carnal means are gonna deliver you from the spiritual uh, uh the spiritual scourges of your high by Shemal Shai? I think not. It says, remember thou thy creator in the days that I youth, while the evil days come not, nor the years draw nigh when thou shalt say, I have no pleasure in them, man. And that's what we're starting to see slowly happen, man. While the sun or the light or the moon or the sun be not darkened, nor the clouds return after the rain, man, before that nuclear that thermonuclear destruction comes. And here's the point. In the day when the keepers of the house shall tremble, and the strong men shall bow themselves. And the grinders cease because they are few, and those that look out the windows be darkened, man. Let's see what we get for grinders. Strong's H2912. Tachan. Tachan. It says to grind, uh, crush. A primitive root to grind mill, hence to be a concubine, that being an employment grinder, man. Basically mean it work, man. The workers, man. The workers cease because they are few, man. And that's and that's happening uh, all throughout different avenues, man. You saw him is giving you the stimulus check. He's giving you giving you the unemployment. Uh, uh, he he's he's making it uh um unattractive to work because of inflation going uh going up. Prices of goods going up while wages aren't going up. <clears throat> He's pumped into your head this idea of self-employment and entrepreneurship, which everybody can't be self-employed. Everybody cannot be a self-made millionaire or, 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 or you know what I'm saying, make tons of money in a, in a system of capitalism because capitalism cannot exist without poverty. He's, um, he's, a, oh yeah, he's, he's destroying the middle class so that there's going to be the haves and the have-nots, man. That's why, hey, and all this is going to happen because, not, not all this is going to happen, but all this is going into while the grinders shall cease, man. There are a lot of things going on, man, that, that are influencing the uh, fulfillment of these scriptures, man. And I have an article. It's like, yeah. I have an article to go to. It says, The Guardian it says, Amazon, and Amazon is one of the uh, biggest, you know, uh, uh, I guess mail carrying. Uh, I don't. I, I can't. I can't describe it. With you know, Amazon is one of those big uh, um, package delivery corporations, man. And it says Amazon could run out of workers in the United States in two years, man. Internal memo. Internal memo suggests, man. And that lets you know, man. If one, of, if the one of these big businesses, man, with what's fairly, with you know, the the pay is is fairly good, but you know, hey, people don't want to work anymore, man. It says with with exceptionally high turnover, which means uh the turnover being from you know p uh hiring hiring and retaining people versus you know um you know people quitting and, and being fired. It says with exceptional exceptionally high turnover, the company risks churning through available labor pool by twenty twenty four. Man, <clears throat> it says is Amazon about to run out of workers? According to the leaked internal memo, the retail logistics company fears so. If we continue business as usual, Amazon will deplete the available labor supply in the U.S. network by 2024, man. And all that, and all that goes into what, man? Uh, um, hours, wages, scheduling, 
you know, people being lazy now want to work the economy. And on top of that, man, what these what these uh, people won't tell you, man, is they're trying to uh, uh, automatize, you know, uh, 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 you know, make uh, industrialize and make everything robotic, man. They're trying to take away as much as possible. They want to make this thing robotic, man, because why robots are less likely to commit error. They're cheaper. And on top of that, man, they, they don't have, they don't need breaks. They don't complain. They don't uh, um, talk back and they're going to get the job done efficiently, man. It says Amazon is right to be worried. Its staff turnover rate is astronomical. Before the pandemic, Amazon was losing about 3% of its workforce weekly, or 150% annually. By contrast, the annual average turnout in transportation, warehousing, and utilities was 49% in 2001, and the retail was 64, 64.6%, less than half of Amazon turnover. turnover. Even Amazon's founder, Jeff Be- Bezos, is worried. I don't know why, man. You've already, you've already made your, your, your chunk of change, man. Bezos originally welcomed high turnover, fearing long-term employees would psych off and cause a march to uh, mediocrity. But in his final letter to shareholders as chief exam- executive last year, Bezos said the company had to do a better job for his employees. Amazon will commit to being Earth's best employer and Earth's safest place to work, he wrote. Uh, Whatever. Um, I guess I'll read this. It says, one issue is Amazon's time off task metric, he said, where Amazon uh, monitors employees' productivity and issues write-offs, which can lead to termination if too much time off task has occurred, man. Meaning, basically, I mean, you're not fucking working, nigga. You're just standing here, and all the jigs do this, man. They come into the job, they bullshit, they stand around, they talk, they uh, ride the clock, man. A lot of jigs do that, man. But on the other hand, man, why would I, you know, working for Esau is not, it's not fun, man. It's exhausting. It's draining, man. Being subject unto payments is not, it's not fun at all, man. It's, there's a whole, I spoke, and I spoke about this at camp, man. There's a series of events to a lot of these things we see happen in the stri- scriptures, man. Because what? Let's go to this, this, through this series of events, man. The Lord has what made us subject unto payments unto Esau, Edom, uh, uh, at high interest rates, man. He's so unmerciful, man. You, you you can't miss one payment. It impacts your credit score, which impacts every your future and all these type of things. Then we go to, uh, what is it? Where is it? Where is it? Okay. Haggai. It's like Haggai 2 and 6. Has, has, uh, Haggai well, uh, 1. So like Haggai 1 and... Haggai 1 and 4, 3. Then he came the word of Yahweh by Shemel Shah unto Haggai the prophet saying, It is... Is it time for you, O ye, to dwell in your uh, sea houses, and the houses lie in waste? Now, therefore, said Yahweh Shema, our host, consider your ways, man. Think about this, man. I mean, really, people need to really think, sit down and think about this. You have so much, man. You work a lot, man. 12-hour shifts, 8-hour shifts, man, 40-plus hours a week, man. Some people working two jobs, two jobs and a side job, you know, trying to get that side hustle on, trying to build that generational wealth. And what you bring in little, man. And how does that happen, man? Because of the system, man. The system is set up for you to be continuously and perpetually subject unto payments, man. This is a borrowed, rented lifestyle, man. There is no uh, um, incentive to actually own, man. Especially if you're if you're uh, um, the average ordinary Joe. What, what incentive do I have to own, man? Because if I'm, if I'm paying damn near $300,000 for a house, man... Over a, a lifespan of a, a twenty year mortgage, man, with a, with an interest rate of damn near two point six APR, or however they do it, man. What 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 um? How does that profit me? Cause I'm gonna I'm gonna come out paying way more, and then take a risk on my property value not going up. You know the the, the housing market crashing in this that and third, man. Why why would I buy a car outright when? <laughs> Dealing with Esau Eater, man, these shady salesmen, you can, you gonna sell me a try to sell me a piece of shit anyway, man. Thirty thousand dollar car, uh, two months from now, engine fails, man. This is what this is how that that's being subject on the payments works out into in, into real time, man. That's bring someone so much and bringing in little, man. Imagine if you are a farmer, uh, working a hundred acres of land, and you can only get damn near um ten apple ten apple trees 
you know, uh, every harvest season to to come to come to be fully ripe, man, and sell, man. You're gonna you're gonna have some real uh, second thoughts about being a farmer, correct? No, I would, man. That's a hundred acres, a lot of land to bring in damn near nothing. It says, but you have uh you have so much and bring a little. You eat, but you have not enough, man. Man, bro, look at look at grocery stores these days, man. Or some you know Jake's out here eating three four times a day, man. Uh, eating all this abominable uh, um, sugar, uh, sugar, high in sugar, man, high in high in fats, man. So you're you're constantly uh, you you're constantly always you know hungry, craving more. You drink, but you're not filled, man. You suck. You drink, but you're not filled with drink. You clothe you, but you're but there is no more. He that earneth wages, earneth wages to put it in a bag of holes, man. Because at the end of the day. You're gonna make all this. You're gonna make all this money. You're gonna work all this. Uh, work all this. Uh, put in all these hours, just to go pay the Esau eat them, and at the end of the day, be left with barely anything, man. So when when um when when people like this say, uh, the issue of t- uh time out uh sake, which time out task. It's because at the end of the day, at the end of the day, Jake realized, man, that this is just a bunch of bullshit, man. It's it's vexing. It's honestly, it's really vexing, man, to have to wake up, punch a clock, spend dang near. When you look really look at it, man, the average day of an American or the average day of a middle class worker is, you wake up, you might work your nine to five. So from nine to five, you're 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 working. You get off at five. You might have five hours to yourself. That's ten o'clock before you have to go to bed. If you want to get some get some uh, nice quality rest, which is maybe like eight hours, then you you know you you wake up and do it all over again. Have six hours of free time to yourself a day, man. If you're lucky to do that, man. That type of lifestyle is vexing, man. It gets old quick. Since each one of these instances where I was talking too long to find an item counted against me, and it is all adding up. And then they count that as your total time off. And it doesn't matter if you were doing the job, you're not meeting the expectation, man. And then, bro, these, these businesses, they want you to do just have these, they, their standards are just so astronomically high, bro. It's like, damn. They expect you coming into the job, first week of training, to perform as if you worked there for a whole year, man. And then even still, man, some some of that shit is just, no, bro. You're not going to work me to death, man. Not for you to, to uh, not only make millions and profit off my death, and then and then you know what I'm saying do it to the next man. It says uh, liter uh, literal said he walks 15 miles or more every shift as a picker, because his warehouse does not have robotic technology where items are brought to pickers. He said the bands, uh, ultimately blah 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 man a whole list of grievances against a job that we all everybody experiences man. And they don't give a, give a fuck about the situation. They don't give a fuck about what you got going on or how what better they can do to help you be better, man. They just want you to make that money. They want you to do the job, make them the money, go home, come back the next day, do it all again until you fucking drop dead, man. And hopefully you don't do it there, man. That's Esau Edo's biggest fear, man. They don't want people dropping dead at their job. You go drop dead, do that shit at the, in the parking lot, man. And, um, it's, um... Um. Uh, that's a good scripture. Let's go to James five and one. It says, "Go to now, ye rich men, weep and howl for your miseries just to come upon you. Your riches are corrupted. Your garments are moth eaten. Your gold and silver is cankered." And the rest of them shall be a witness against you, and shall eat your flesh as it were fire. Ye have heaped treasures together for the last days. Behold, the hire, the meaning the pay, the the the, the promised wage, man, that, that penny that the scriptures talk about, man, the hire of the laborers, who have reaped down your fields, man, which is of you kept back by fraud, crieth, and the cries of them which have reaped are entered into the ears of the Lord of Sabbath over, man. So this man, this Yahweh Bashem is the one that's stirring the pot, man, putting in the spirit of these people not to want to go work for Esau Edom anymore, man. Because you're you're gonna defraud us anyway. You're gonna rip us off. You're gonna do a whole bunch of bullshit, man. Make it, bro. 
bro, just just had just do just the stupid shit, man. Stupid shit. Matt, one is saying early, let us leave late, man. Keep us there all fucking day, man. Uh, just shove work down our throats, man. Like damn. But at the end of the day, man. Hey, that's how you how about Shema Shah set it up, man. Hey, the scripture said that we they would be the hell and we would be the tail, man. They we uh we they shall we shall borrow from them and we shall not lend to them, man. They see this all this is in the curses, man. I'll get this and I'll close it up. Job twenty and um twenty two and the fullness of his sufficiency he shall be in straits, man. Who is he, man? Esau eat him. Every hand of the wicked shall come upon him. And when you go to this word wicked. Strong's H six thousand one. A male. A male. It says laborer, sufferer, wretched one, laborer, workman, man, toily, man. Oh hey, man. It's that's gonna be a part of them uprising, man. People just gonna start going ape shit at the job, man. People gonna walk out. Hey, they already had what the 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 um the great resignation when the uh, pandemic hit. When like I think it was like down there, close to two million Americans just quit the job, man. Didn't come back to work, man. It's gonna be like that on on a, on a, on a more grandiose scale, man. Because people are getting tired, man. People are getting tired of getting fucked by the job, getting fucked by the government. Getting, you know what I'm saying? Getting, getting fucked at the grocery store, man. People are tired of this stuff, man. They said every hand of the wicked shall be upon them, man. So when hey, um, and it's gonna be more jobs, man. A lot of you, a lot of you, a lot of you jobs are gonna be for, uh, forced to uh, uh, um, shut down, man. Cause not only that, man, they're doing away with certain uh, aspects of the economy, man. With the with the with the trucker, with the trucker uh, shortage, man, with the gas, so all the, all this is they're doing away with certain things so they can digitize digitize it, so like so they can digitize it, automatize it, and make it uh, uh, uh being able to integrate it with their system of uh, um technology, which is going to be regulated by the MOTB, man. So that's why I said the sequencing, the chronology, man, the order of events, man, to this thing, man. And Jake, man, if you're a wise man. You will repent, man. But hey, we know you're not. So I'll go ahead and close it out. Ecclesiastes 12 and 13. Let us hear the conclusion of the whole matter. For your high by I'll try and keep his commandments. For this is the whole duty of man. For your high by I'll try to bring every work into judgment, for every secret thing, whether it be good or whether it be evil. With that being said, all the way out.